All right, let's head off for an adventure. Oh, that good, huh? Oh, you are. You want the rest? That's it. <laughs> this is this. Do this. Welcome to the middle of nowhere, but don't worry, it's been discovered. Here we are in wild Florida, central Florida. A very exciting adventure awaits. We've got airboats, we've got a drive through safari. Let's go have an adventure. Now we're starting the day off with a very special airboat adventure. This is going to be very, very exciting. I have a feeling we're gonna see some wildlife when we're out there. Wild Florida, believe it or not, they invited us out because they have a brand new expansion for this safari park. We're gonna drive through in a bit after the airboat adventure. It's gonna be amazing. But it went from 85 acres in that safari park to 170 acres. That is a massive increase in space. We're going to be one of the first to see it. It just opened to the public just the other day. It's going to be an absolutely magical adventure. But we're starting it off with the adrenaline rush, the feeling that you've been looking forward to. We're going to see alligators face to face, or maybe snout to snout, on the airboat adventure. Let's do it. Please do not feed the peacocks. All right, well, we'll have our eyes open, but wait a minute. I think he's got our, his eyes open, too. Look at that. He's not real, though. Don't worry. Wow, that's scary. Here in the gift shop, you can find just about anything you could want. Something that caught my eye almost immediately was this sloth mug. Check out that guy, little guy, sitting on top of that mug. I'm guessing you can refill it while you're here in Wild Florida. They have so many wild items all around. Even got Dog Mom for those wild adventurers at home. So many shirts, hats, everything you could possibly imagine. And there's so many sloths. They're everywhere and they're ready to give you a hug. I'm tempted by a lot of things. They've got some great shirts here, bags, hats, and a lot more. Am I ready for a wild adventure? In addition, they've got a lot of things for kids of every age group, some small stuffed animals, even these little grabbers right there. Look at that. You can see the alligator right on top. The merchandise in here is really unbelievable. So many things. Do I need a safari hat? Maybe. Check out these wallets right here. It really feels like you're in an alligator adventure when you have a alligator wallet. Oh my gosh, even inside, totally leather. And look right here, is that a back scratcher? Ah, that's nice. It's even magnets right, oh, hey. Look at these magnets here. You can see little mini gators. You can see the gators actually coming out of their uh, eggs, shells right there, look at that. That's adorable. There's a secondary part of the gift shop right here, but take a look, you can see those albino alligators right here in between the gift shop. They're just hanging out, having a great time, hoping we have a great time too. The second gift shop up here has even more alligator merchandise, everything you could possibly want. Don't close, don't close. I love the sloth life. Look at this shirt right here. Life in the slow lane. Tough to pick your favorite hat here. There are so many wild Florida hats. They've got USA, they've got the rainbow. You see the rainbow gator right there? I love that. Shirts and then even more of those hats. And if you love giraffes, this might also be your spot. I'm telling you, they got some amazing giraffe merchandise. There's even some that's like made out of nuts and bolts. Look at that, that's a giraffe. Make it out of that. That's fantastic. All right, we're heading on the boat now. We've got Captain Farmer, who's gonna lead our airboat. You can see it's a swampy marsh as we make our way out to those boats. Welcome to the middle of nowhere, real Florida, wild Florida. There it is. We're going to go on one of those airboats momentarily. I am so excited for this adventure. All right, let's head off for an adventure. shore here, not the first tree line, but the second tree line, we're going to go back there, is the entrance into Reedy Creek Swamp. That goes all the way to Walt Disney World from here. <laughs> Two hours, y'all want to wait? <laughs> There's a gator under there. Cypress trees. Wow. Look at that gator right back there. It's nesting season. Looks about maybe seven to ten years old.
<laughs> so they just do it once a year. Yes, she's defending her now. So now oh, she'll stay here right and guard there. him the entire 65 wow. days. There's another gator nest, unbelievable, and there's mom gator right there. She's just looking at us, making sure we don't get too close. But there's the more average size gator nest, unbelievable. I have never in my whole life been this close to an alligator nest and mom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What an adventure, what an amazing adventure. I gotta tell you, we've been on airboats, but this was absolutely incredible. We saw animals, wildlife, all over the place. Gators, we saw fish, we saw uh, the um, all sorts of these birds, we saw the bald eagle, we saw a bald eagle here in Florida. We saw unbelievable things, and our captain was unbelievable. He knew exactly where everything was, knew where to stop. The gators were safe, but they were like, they were like hissing at us because we were getting close to their nests. But oh my gosh, in my whole life, I've never had an experience like this before. Wow, wow, wow. I cannot recommend it highly enough. If you're looking for the, ready for this? The true wild Florida, you know what I mean? This is one not to miss, and we're only a part one of this adventure. It was a fantastic boat ride. We had a chance to see so much out there. Really a lot of wildlife to experience, feel immersed in the nature and in the world here of Florida. Now you have the opportunity to choose your amount of time, 30 minutes or an hour. We were on for an hour and it was unbelievable. We went to places I, we never see, we never see. The only way to get there is via airboat. Like real, true, true to the name, wild Florida. So the cypress trees apparently were over 300 years old. Just, I mean, I was, I was in shock. I was smiling the whole time. That was so outstanding, so incredible. I, we've got to get some, some merchandise to remember the adventure. You got the blue hat or the black hat. I'm still, I'm still deciding. I don't know. I like them both, but I need something to remember this amazing adventure because I'm telling you, I, the, the amount of wild Florida. I mean, the, the name is perfect. The, the fact that they named it this is perfect. We've only seen one bit, and I'm getting a hat for sure. It's time for lunch, and we're gonna try something delicious. Whether it's maybe a safari slushy, sloth shake, I don't know. We'll find out. Definitely for some protein too. Let's find it. Chop House Grill. They've got some delicious-looking entrees. Ooh, vegetarian options. Love to see that. Platter options. Kids meal size at premium size, along with those specialty drinks. I, you know, I've tried gator fried nuggets before but this might be the place. It's not usually my favorite, but I feel like if some place is gonna make it right, this is gonna be the spot, so it might be what I get, we'll see. While we were standing in line, oh my gosh, look at this, the peacock is real. They're just roving around Wild Florida, truly a wild place. Oh my gosh, hey buddy, oh, look at this. Wow. Here in Wild Florida, we're trying some unbelievable items. We've got the gator platter. Oh my goodness, fried gator, along with that mac and cheese and the bread looks so good. In addition, specialty for today, gator empanadas. I feel like we're in Wild Florida, we've got to try gator empanadas. In addition, in the very special sloth mug, we've got that special milkshake. It's a combination of flavors, shake slash slushy, mango, blue raspberry added to it. It looks great, but I, you know, I saw the sloth for Wild Florida, I was like, we gotta do it. We've gotta make this happen. So our sloth friend has joined us to share in the adventure. Let's try it all together. First up, let's try the very special gator empanadas. I have never had gator empanadas before. I'm super excited. Comes with a dipping sauce on the side. I think it's aioli. I have a very positive feeling about this one. Oh my goodness. That is a delicious, fantastically delicious, gator empanada. It's not just gator. You've got greens in there. I think there's tomato in there. It's like, it's unbelievably good though. I I tried gator before. I'm like, oh, it's, it's okay. This is how gator is meant to be done. If you see gator empanada, it's a specialty menu item. We just saw it on the uh, board as we walked up to the window. I recommend this one. Delicious. You're not getting any toughness that you usually would with gator. Super impressed. Super, super impressed. Just tried that sloth slushy with the blue raspberry combination of flavors, two for two. I'm telling you, this is amazing, so good. Such an amazing slushy, a great combination. It's like mango and passion fruit in there with the blue raspberry. You, you definitely want it. You definitely want that special slushy from behind the main dining area. There's, there's two areas to get ice cream. You want the main dining area. That's where you get this one, the specialty sloth slushy. It's not sloth slushy. You can get them in any container you want, but the, the green one, they combine the flavors with blue raspberry. So good. Okay, we've moved here for the second part of our meal here, but I gotta tell you right off the bat, before we even try the gator platter, I am so impressed with the food here in Wild Florida. Mind blown with how good the quality is. We've still got more to go. We got the gator platter to go, which is the most food of all, but slushy, empanadas, two thumbs away of. Let's try the more gator. Could this be? The best gator I've ever had in my whole life. I can answer it for you, ready? Yes, it is. It's so incredibly good. It's it's hot. The fact that they make it fresh, you can tell. They say on the sign, make it made fresh. It's true, I can vouch for that. 
Unbelievably delicious. Great flavor. Not as chewy as I was expecting. Um, how do you ma describe gator? Imagine like a chicken nugget, but a little bit more, a little tougher, not too tough, not too tough, a little tougher, and with a great almost like deep beef flavor, but like chicken consistency. Super weird way of describing gator, but I love it. I would definitely get any of the items we had here at Wild Florida. I'd get them again. I really would. That good food. Do not miss Wild Florida. Fantastic food here. Absolutely loved the food from Chop House Grill. Got to agree with you on this one. Everything was incredible. We had the gator platter, which had delicious gator. It was like the orange chicken we get from Trader Joe's. You have the darker end pieces of that chicken meat with a bit of seasoning on there, the orangey kind of teriyaki or Old Spice seasoning on that. Really, really good how that was fried as well. I would definitely get that gator platter again, except for the mac and cheese side. I would change that one side. Otherwise, cheese curd's delicious, and the gator was delicious, and that garlic bread, really good too. The empanadas, really glad we got those. Incredible empanadas. I think some of the best empanadas I've had as well, plus they were gator. So definitely the best gator I've had. Empanadas, incredible with all of the different vegetables in there, and I love that garlic aioli on the side as well. Dave and I were so impressed by that slushy we had first. We're getting the Florida Freeze with the vanilla ice cream. It looks incredible. It's only $4. When you have the mug, you can refill it right at this ice cream stand. Not You don't have to go all the way up to the uh, Chomp House uh, Oring area. You can do it from this area right back here. Can't wait to try it. Just tried several sips of this amazing Florida Freeze with the, um, the vanilla ice cream there. Imagine, orange creamsicle. Perfect description. Delicious between the two. I think I prefer the one with blue raspberry, but either one, you can't go wrong. Delicious Florida Freeze shake. Love the addition of the ice cream there. It's a nice, unique way to mix that slushy up. I would say, I agree. I think the blue raspberry does add a little bit more even, but depending upon what you're in the mood for, I think it's nice to have one of each. Fully hydrated now. It's the moment that we've been waiting for. The special safari. Are you ready? Let's go see those animals. Here we go into the drive through safari, wild Florida. Are you ready for an adventure? Let's do it. Here we are. Check out some of these cattle right here. Oh my gosh, we are so close. And this is my car. We're sitting in my car and the animals are right there. Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh, look down there. You can see those alligators. It's just a small fence between us and those gators hanging out in that loop lagoon right next to the car. The car is here. The gators are there. Oh my gosh, they're moving around and everything. Check out those wildebeests all the way out there. They're just hanging out. I love seeing them this close. I think that's the scimitar horned oryx. Oh my gosh, look at them out here right next to our car. I don't think we've ever been this close to one of these amazing creatures. Wow, just look at them. Now I think that small creature is called a springbok. Not 100% sure. Oh my gosh, amazing. Some of the, the food that's left over for him. Oh, hey buddy. Hey, great to see you. There he goes, he's just, he's gonna hang out. He saw us, he's going back under. Now you see right out there that stake in the ground? I think that's a scratching post, so they can go on up to it any time and scratch themselves. Very, very important when you are a springbok, and I think that's what we have here. Love seeing them, just enjoying the grass. Some of them have those horns, others have smaller horns, and they're just watching us go by. Great to see you guys. Ooh, didn't mean to scare you. Didn't mean to scare you, so sorry. Oh goodness, look at those guys. Wow, I love it. I love this so much. Halfway through our amazing safari adventure, and I gotta tell you, this is unreal. Unbelievable to see all these animals from the comfort of our own car. That's the cool part. You're in your, your own car, you got your drinks, you know, you got your, your um, let's see, sloth, sloth drink, right there from earlier, and you are just relaxing AC on full blast, or as just as you like it, enjoying the amazing animals all around us. And is that a camel? Sure enough, that is indeed a camel, but we'll, we'll see it better when we go around the other side. I totally would have missed it without the sign. Look closely, deer and elk in the Cypress Swamp. Now, I don't know if that, oh, he's yawning. There's a, there's a white and there's a, a black elk just sitting together having a good time. I think those are elk. I'm not 100% sure. It looks like a llama, like, like similar to llama. But he's looking right at us. See him out there? Very difficult to see. They're hanging out together, having a wonderful time. I I love this. I love it. They have doubled their size. You can see it right there. This time, extended safari, 2.5 miles remaining in that direction. Unbelievable to see how much bigger the safari is now that they've opened the expansion to the public. Oh my goodness, I have not seen a camel in real life in so long. Look at that camel, he's huge. Wow, you can see his brother or sister camel out there looking at them. They're having a great time together. Everybody's having a great time today. But my gosh, so amazing to be so close to these animals, wow. In addition, right ahead of us, I think we've got some Ancoli cattle right there. Not 100% sure if that's what these guys are, but you can see them just hanging out under that tree, keeping cool. 
We're gonna get a little closer to those zebras in a minute, but you can see them right out here. There's so many of them, I'm counting six of them right there at the moment together, two different groups. Take a look at this camel, he's so incredibly close to the car. I don't know if you can tell how close he is. Oh, sorry, I don't mean to disturb you. He's eating, shh, we'll be quiet. But we're really appreciating the amazing camel. Oh, there he is, look at that. Here we go, there's an ostrich right here. We're just gonna drive very slowly and say hi to our friend, Mr. Ostrich. Hello, Mr. Ostrich. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how close this is. You have no, you have no idea how close this is. Hi, how you doing? So great to see you. Wow, that's close. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's close. Hey, buddy. Hello, how are you? Oh my gosh, so close. So close. Bye. Wow. I cannot tell you how awesome this is. I can't tell you. Look, you can see here's another one. He's just hanging out. Hey, buddy. Good to see you. Your wings are looking excellent today, I gotta tell you. That bug extract you're using is working so well, so, so well. Right down here, we've also got bison and buffalo just hanging around, having a good time in the water. Some on the land, there's one right over there we're gonna see really close. But wow, they're hanging out with the ostriches. That looks like a buffalo right there hanging out in the grass. He was just like rolling around a minute ago. It was really impressive to see that. And now he's just looking at us, saying hi, waving to us. And some of his buddies are hanging out in the water. Okay, I gotta tell you, this is the closest I have ever been to a Watusi cattle, ever. Just, just ever. Look at this guy. Hi, buddy. I don't know how far this is. Maybe this is 20 feet, maybe. He's, here's the car. Here's that Watusi cattle. Wow. Such a majestic creature. Such an incredible set of horns. Wow. I don't wanna leave. He's so amazing. Bye. Oh, wow. Look at that. Here are two more of those zebras. They're hanging out under the street to keep cool, but you can see they're looking at us. Wow, that is an amazing, he's a donkey, but he looks like maybe crossbred with a zebra? I'm not sure, I don't think I've ever seen a creature quite like that before. We learned from one of the private safari guides that's actually going around, this is the zebra horse cross. Right there, zebra plus a horse. Amazing how unique that looks. In addition to the driving safari, you can also get a private tour via one of these uh, very special vehicles right there with your own private tour guide. Just imagine. Wow, we'll have to try that in the future for sure. I love seeing how close we are, even in the car, to these, again, I believe these are another group of Watusi cattle, Rancoli cattle. He's going to say hi to that uh, private safari. He's just gonna go in there and say hello, maybe get a snack and, wow, oh my gosh, the safari. <laughs> God is petting him. We're not allowed to pet them. Very important rule, do not pet the animals. If you're on a private safari, maybe they'll do something special, like give them a little treat, so they'll come on over. It's so funny, the camel now is interested. Where, where, where's more of my snacks, guys? Where's more of my snacks? Wait, do you have anything else for me? I'm, hello, I'm just wondering. Anything else for me, just double checking. Let me, excuse me, did you hear me? I was, I was wondering if you had some snacks in the back, right right here, I think I hear, I think I smell something back there, ma'am. Ma'am, what perfume you, perfume, ma'am? Hello? <laughs> Wow, what a creature. I love it. I love that camel. He's still going for food. Look at this super friendly camel right here. Look at him. He's so, he's incredibly close. I'm gonna, again, give you an idea. That I, I can't describe how close he is. Here's, here's my car. That's my car. That's the camel. I'm not gonna stick my hand out there because you know it's, he's gonna expect food from me. He can't be doing that. But wow, absolutely elegant creature. I love seeing it. This is an amazing adventure. Wow. Look at these amazing giraffe right here. You have the opportunity to go on up there and feed them. I'm gonna learn more about that. That looks cool. They're all hanging out, grabbing some food. People are enjoying feeding them. What an amazing safari experience. Gotta tell you, I have never been that close to so many amazing animals before. We're now here outside of the safari area. We're gonna check out that uh, giraffe feeding area. I've never done that before. We drove by and it looks like a super long line, so we'll at least take a look. Giraffe feeding, $5 right here, and you have to have that safari wristband, so let's head on over here and feed some of those giraffes. I'm so excited, it's gonna be great. I'm so excited for this. We have to wait here to be called up there, but you can see two giraffes right here. We're gonna go up the stairs as soon as they call us up, and we'll be able to feed them. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, hey buddy. <laughs> That's so cool. Here it goes, you ready buddy? Here you go, bon appetit. Oh, it was so good, it looked delicious. It looked delicious. Good. You rated five out of five? I would love to pet you, but I can't. You know I can't. It's good to see you though. That's so cool, hey. Yum. There you go, delicious. Ah, so amazing. His head is like, it's huge, you see that? That's so cool. A truly amazing experience to see these giraffes. They are incredibly large. And now he sees they don't have any more lettuce, he goes to other guests who he knows has the lettuce. If you're here at Wild Florida and you're doing the safari, 
you got to do this. It's like mandatory. It's like mandatory to do this because I mean, this, this is so amazing. I, I gotta, I gotta make room for other families. But you can tell I don't have lettuce right now. So he's just kind of hanging out right there. He's waiting for more guests to come around and get lettuce. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Oh, okay, all right. So now I've been, I've been, just been handed this very special bundle right here, which I have a feeling might be one of their favorites. Oh, a sudden turn. So, oh, 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 that, oh, it's so good. Oh, oh, yum. Is that delicious? How good is that? Scale of one to ten. What do you think? Oh, that good, huh? Oh, you are. You want the rest? That's it. That's so incredible. Look at that. All right, buddy. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, I've never been this close. Oh my gosh, I want, I want to pet you, but I can't. You know I can't. I, you know I can't. I'd love to. <laughs> This is this. Do this. This. Okay. Done. Well, Florida. Feed the giraffes. I, I could. I, I'm thinking about doing it again. That's how amazing it was. They were right there. They. they he was touching me. The, the giraffe was. I'm not allowed to touch the giraffe. The giraffe can't touch me. It was just. It was incredible. Wow. As we were making our way out, David, the giraffe was like. We were taking pictures. One of the giraffes like was licking you. Yeah. What happened there? That was crazy. I think he was trying to eat the hat. <laughs> she was saying. See, they like to eat hats. So right. Watch out for your hat. So. Yeah, he was trying to grab it with his tongue. That's how they grab the food. It was crazy. It's amazing. Clearly a wild experience. This, was this your favorite part so far? It was pretty awesome. I yeah. love this. All right, now it's time to experience the wildlife and nature park here at Wild Florida. A couple things to note, shoes and shirt, and do not put your hands in the mouth of the animals. Yeah, we know we can do that. All right, let's head on in there. Here in Wild Florida, you can see those scarlet macaws all throughout. You can hear them too. They're inside this very special enclosure. And they're just hanging around, enjoying some food drinks they are able to fly around which is super nice over here you can see one out in the open just walking along there he is whoop he's he's trying to find his exit food's over there buddy food, fresh food right over there check out this crocodile here a very unique coloration to that guy look at him you can see he's like kind of like a a grayish Ooh, he's got his eye on me yellowish brownish Oh my gosh, that is a very unique looking crocodile. We've also got the slender snouted crocodile here. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've seen one at all ever like that before. He's hiding. He just swam a little bit while he was hiding. Wow, usually found in Africa. Oh my goodness, look at that albino alligator right there. That is an enormous creature and it is, wow, it's just, it's amazing to see. Look at the names they gave these alligators here. Snowflake and Blizzard. I love it. Check out the bird feeding adventure. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. We're inside the aviary now. You can see they have some super unique birds. All these guys have like those little mini mohawks on them. I love that. That's so cool. Oh, he's flying around. Look at that. Wow. I got to figure out the name of this one. Those little guys aren't called the orange winged Amazons. Those are in the back, but I love to hear those. <laughs> I love it. Hey, buddy. Hi. Now this is where the Crusher Show takes place at 3.45 and 11 a.m. We'll see if we catch it today. If not, no doubt, another day. We have the opportunity to feed some amazing gators here. Look at these guys. You can see they vary in age, no question. Some of them might be two, maybe even up to five years old, but look at all those gators. There's so many. And you have the opportunity to feed them their special food. My gosh, there's so many. It's time for alligator feeding. The show should start in about nine minutes. It's gonna be great. The alligators can tell it's feeding time. We're gonna watch the show from right here. They're gonna feed them right in front of us. But it's close enough to where they think they can grab it. They'll jump up and have a better this one. Oh! We gotta get that on glasses. You know, oh, that was a high time, but they're all more than capable of getting it if they really commit. We have in this car, his name is Ducky, and right next to him is probably the heaviest. We'll call him Big Bone, but uh, he's a little fat. <laughs> the way up to 60 eggs, all depending on the size, age, and health of the female. Such an amazing feeding show. It's still going on. Amazing to see. We're just looking at the lemurs real quick. As we uh, walk around, they're just chilling out there. It's so cool to see them this close. I'm so close to the animals. There's a female peacock right there just roaming the grounds with us. I love to see it. I think it's the female. Not 100% sure. I think it's the male with the uh, big feathers. I think this is the female. Wow. Here comes the male right behind that female. They're just wandering around on their own, having a great time with the guests. That's what I love. I mean, there's no barrier. There's no fence. Just walking around. Wow. She went that way. She went She went to the right. That way. That way. There she goes. Yeah, she's that way. There you go. See you later. Oh my gosh, I love that. Check out the sloth in there. Now, now I see where the sloth merchandise comes from. 
He's just hanging around, scratching himself. I do not think I've seen a sloth in person, definitely not this close. Wow. In addition to all the great things all around, there's also a petting zoo. We have the opportunity to pet those goats and other animals all around. Look at that pygmy goat right over here. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Oh, I don't have any food at the moment. Maybe I should get some for you, huh? Hey, good to see you. Look up there, you can see the super, super small baby goat. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Recently born on that bench. Overall, this has been an unbelievable experience here at Wild Florida. I loved it all. I think my favorite part was either the airboat or feeding those giraffes. That drive through safari was unbelievable, and the fact that they added all that extra space was so cool. But if you're there, if you're, if you're on that safari, don't miss the giraffes. It's worth it, do the giraffe feeding. David, what was your favorite thing about Wild Florida today? I loved the giraffe feeding as well. I absolutely loved some of those photos we were able to get with the giraffes really added. But I agree, both the airboat and the safari were incredible parts as well. I think those would be the top three, but giraffe feeding takes the cake for me. Truly an amazing experience today. Special thank you to Wild Florida and Experience Kiss Me for inviting us out. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time. Have a magical day. And we'll see you later, alligator.